Okay, <laughs> here we go. Today we have a special guest, and it's not just Baby Bat. <laughs> Alright, so today we have a very special video. Sarah's here to help me out with it. Sonda Floor sent us some stuff, and uh, we already have a lot of matching Sonda Floor for some reason. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to do a video where we compare how Sonda Floor items like, look on two different sizes and two different body types. Sarah is a lot curvier than I am. I have like similarly like proportioned where we're more like pear shaped. I have a lot of curves You're though. a lot bustier I'm than I am. I'm way bustier. I have like thick arms, I'm thick in the thighs, I'm thick in the stomach, I'm thick everywhere. Well, I'm, very, I'm a thick girl so it works out. <laughs> Since I get a lot of questions about Sonda Floor and plus size brands generally, I don't know if you fall I'm right there. I'm technically mid-size, but I range. So right now, I'm currently like a 12. Like two months ago, I was like a 16, and I'm I kind of range between a 10 and a 16. So I'm exactly on that size. Sada Floor has also been expanding their plus size range. So I think they've just added one more size up. I'm not sure what it is. I'll just put it up here somewhere. They're working on being more size inclusive, but because they're a really small brand, they have to do it kind of like one step at a time just for financial reasons. If you don't know what Sonda Floor is, Sonda Floor is a slow fashion brand from Lithuania. Sonda Floor really focuses on sustainable and ethically produced clothing and most of their clothing is linen. So linen is, I think, the most ethical, sustainable fiber that you can use. Um, it's definitely better than plastic, but I've heard some bad things about cotton. They have a lot of information. You can check out their blog. I've also done a video on Sonda Floor already, so that will be up here somewhere. And it'll also be linked in the description, so you can find out more information there. So that's what we're doing today. Sarah's already wearing one of our things, so I guess I'll just go get dressed into that one. <laughs> okay. Is this the classic skirt? This, this is, is the classic, classic skirt. skirt in the gingham plaid. Blue tartan? Blue maybe? tartan plaid? <laughs> what am I using? Oh my gosh. Up somewhere and it'll be fine. <laughs> and it's got pockets. Pretty much all of Sonda Floor stuff has pockets because they come with these cute little scrolls. Is it focused? It's not. What does this one say? Oh, that was upside down. <laughs> there. Okay, so yours is much softer than mine. Is it? Uh, this is new. Oh like, yeah, I have so. worn the hell out of mine. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> We yeah, have minor cursing. It's funny because I'll wear it in this sort of cottagecore vibe, but I also actually do it my own style. So I wear a lot of like goth edgy stuff. So I'll pair this with like a black crop top and like fishnet sleeves and like big, <laughs> big platform boots. <laughs> I feel like this works even if you're like a goth girl or like versatile. an e girl. Yeah, or you can be soft. Like I feel like soft girl summer today. Skirt hikes with it too. That'd That's be true. really cute because it looks kind of kilty. Yeah, that could definitely be a vibe. And then Sonda Floor also has their like white facing on everything, which I really like. You said you weren't such a fan of. Love that there is a facing because it keeps structure with the garment, and that's super mm -hmm. awesome. I don't wear a lot of white. Like I said, I wear a lot of black, and so having the white will sometimes I'll be like, oh, there's white in here. But you don't <laughs> really see it. I feel like unless you're really being like, hey, look under my skirt. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really don't do that do usually. That. <laughs> no. I feel like it's kind of like their signature thing, like how Louboutins have like the red. Yeah. Well, I definitely can always see that it's on the floor when yeah. I see that. Then I know it's them. So. The twirling photos with the white. Yeah. Piece, so. so fit, it seems to fit you. Yes. Well. I am currently wearing, I think, an extra large yeah, in this. So this fit me pretty tight when I was like a 14, 16 a couple months ago. My weight fluctuates a ton. And so right now that I'm like more of a 12, it fits me with just a little bit of space, but I don't think anybody would be able to tell. It's also stretchy a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. And it gives. Kind of Yours is feeling stretchier than mine is. You're in an extra, extra small. Okay. Their size charts, I think, tend to run a little bit large. So I always go a little bit smaller than their size chart says too. I would measure your waist and then just go from there because I think the yeah. truest measurement is your waist measurement. Yeah, I agree. Um, mm -hmm. I like sized up for the very first dress that I ever got because I went by the bust measurement and yeah. it's a little too big for me. Yeah, I think your bust, will, like I'm very busty and I went by the waist measurement and I didn't have a problem fitting my bust in anything. New yeah. dress? Oh yeah, we could do the new dress. four dresses? So Sauna Floor recently released their spring collection and they're actually about to have their summer sale. I think by the time this is live, they will already be in their summer sale. All right, let's change. Yep. These are the dresses. This is Sonda Floor's pinafore dress. I think they're really cute to like just wear without a shirt, but you can also wear them with a shirt. I have a dark floral one that I wear with like a black turtleneck really frequently, and that's a very go-to 
outfit for me. I love the color. This is the first one that I've ever tried with like actual buttons. I'm not wearing a bra with this one and I would definitely for wearing this out, it'll fit fine. The fit is great. I don't feel like it's suffocating, but it is kind of like ribbing right here just from like not having anything underneath of it to structure it. So as long as I had something like padded right here, I think that would be fine. It unbuttons all the way down, which is really nice. <laughs> they also have adjustable straps. So you can see Sarah's are sticking out right now. They've got some extra buttons on there so you can shorten them or lengthen them. Ooh, I wonder uh, if you lengthen it, if it would fix the issue. Oh, let's give it a try. Yeah, cause I have really short, 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 Shoulders. Shoulders. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I usually need to keep things on the shorter button, but I've also found that if I want to wear it like with a cross back, I can put it on the longer one and that help like that makes it able to be worn on a cross back. Oh, there's also like there's a lot of extra there too. So if you needed them even longer, you could probably just move one of these buttons down. Yeah. Is that a little better? I mean this definitely feels better fit wise. Yeah. I will also say so all of the other pieces that I have are an extra large. And like I said, I've been in between sizes. So they actually sent me a large this time. And so I still think I'm a little bit bigger than the large. And otherwise I think it would fit a lot more like yours. Mm -hmm. Like if I was wearing the XL, it would probably fit more like this, but. This one fits you really well in the waist, in the waist. though. And this is like a little big on my waist. And I'm hoping so. that as I wear it, it will like stretch out here. Like I said, the linen just sort of like has a little bit of breathability and so I think it's just because this is like straight out of the box trying it mm -hmm. on. Got a really nice like fit and flare kind of yeah. silhouette. I think that more than any of the other dresses, this one fits nicer around the hips and kind of like flares out better. So oh. for my fit, this fits in my bust and is a little bit loose here. I do like to put shirts underneath, That's which kind of gives it some extra space. Like I don't know that I could put a shirt under this right now, but I could wear it with like a bolero or something like That'd over top, really cute. which is what I usually do anyways. I don't like the texture of shirts under dresses. That's fair. I just want to say, in case you guys want to know, Minji has like the death trap shoe collection. Like <laughs> there's just all these shoes that are like this top flats and cozy clothes for me 24 seven. <laughs> Except that you wear lots of like tight little crop tops and usually I'm like sweatpants and giant yeah. t-shirts and I'm, I'm big skirt tiny shirt <laughs> I think you're big sweatshirt mm -hmm. sweatpants I think that's you most of the time I feel like I'm always dressed way up but everything is comfortable and you're either two sides of the spectrum <laughs> you are couch gremlin or like beautiful queen wig everything yeah it'd be so cute with a little apron too I know be, like, a little hobbit. we do need to be little hobbits and little flower crowns and like a billowy white sleeve. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it'd be so cute. I, I love it. All right, let's yep. switch now. <laughs> All right, we're back. This is the butterfly sleeve dress in seashell pink. <laughs> so it's not quite white. It's like an off-white, very, very light pink. Maybe it's seashell white. I can't remember. We've noticed that we oh, have yeah. different torsos. As we so were getting dressed. Mine hits pretty much at my natural waist. Mine hits almost directly under my bust. Yeah. <laughs> so, and my natural waist is right here. So, I mean, like, it's really far from my natural waist. Yeah. So, we realized that Sarah has a much longer torso than I do. And, like, when we're standing here, our hip bones are at about the same height. The exact same place. But Sarah is obviously <laughs> taller than I am. So, she's got a longer torso, which yeah. I found for dresses like the Carmen, my torso is too short for that one okay. like it hits a lot yeah it hits lower. me at my natural waist so depending on what dress it is it will hit you at different parts of your waist it is slightly see-through so but i'm wearing like a nude nude flesh tone tank top and like nude shorts underneath here i'll just this is what I'm wearing underneath. So I've got like under stuff. The, <laughs> the light colors I think from Sada Floor tend to be a little bit more transparent. It is longer, so it's not gonna be short even if you're tall. I'm just shy of like five seven, I'm like five, six and a half. It's still very long I'm on me. Just under five five. A good length on both of us. Love and it. I think I could have sized down to a large and it would fit me directly on the waist. It is slightly <laughs> too big. I'm wearing the XL in this one and it's like too big in the waist, but it fits mm -hmm. me in the bust, which is really nice. So if you find that you have it and it's like a little restrictive in the waist and you want to size one up, I don't really feel like it's super noticeable. I don't know what size I'm wearing. You are currently wearing, <laughs> oh my gosh, your tag's all the way down here. Oh no. You are in an extra small. Okay, so this is an extra small. I had an extra, extra small for the pinafore, but an extra small for this. So this one, I didn't have to size down quite as much. So their sizing does kind of depend on the item. Yeah. But you can always ask their customer service. They're super friendly and very, very helpful and they will help you figure out what size you need. You know, I was thinking that the plaid one was my favorite, but <laughs> You're I am gonna say that every time we try something. I don't know. Love it. Gonna change again. Uh, try on something else. Shirt. Shirt. It's gonna be a shirt. Uh, so I guess we're putting the plaid <laughs> skirts back on. Yes. We're here. <laughs> we did it. We changed into back to this again. Uh, and the shirt. <laughs> 
New this shirt. was also part of their spring collection, I think. This shirt is actually one of my favorites. I was saying I feel like a Victorian widow or something. Mm -hmm. I'm like... It makes me feel very school teachery, but well, also we could be librarians. We could be like cool librarians, and this is our uniform. We, we work in a library. <laughs> we work in the midnight library. <laughs> I was thinking the library from Akatar. Yeah. I like yours oh better. no, I actually like yours better. <laughs> I think we should work in the Akatar library. That sounds cool. <laughs> then we can become Valkyrie, and it'll be really great. <laughs> yeah. Cut it's some mood. stuff. Punch some things. Yeah. And now I feel a like little Will little Turner. Rakish. I'm giving. I'm giving like Pirates <laughs> of the Caribbean. Will Turner. <laughs> I'm Will Turner. Yeah. This is it's giving. I'm like. Hey. <laughs> it's extremely free size. We don't even know what sizes we are wearing, if we're being honest. Yeah. Wait, does yours have a tag? I, it does. They have tags, but I don't know if they have the they size on it. They don't have sizes on these tags, so... We'll... I'm pretty sure mine's a medium, and we should untuck, because then you'll see that there is just a ton of room. Like, it's not fitted to your waist. It's not fitted anywhere, and therefore, you can almost wear it free size. I feel like it could also look cute, like, tied. Do, like, the... Hot girl summer crop top tie. Yeah. I also like the idea of wearing it with like a black vest. Sarah's much more creative with her clothing than I am. <laughs> I like to accessorize. I'm just you like know. peasant skirt and stays. That I just I just like to think that, you know, if it's my last day on earth, I want to make sure I look good haunting everyone. So that looks kinda cute. It does look really cute. I That's love also it. Pretty piratey looking. This is piratey. This shirt is giving like somewhere pirate. between pirate and librarian. Yeah. Pirate librarian the, pirate li the librarian of the ship <laughs> yeah yeah for all your pirate needs your librarian needs or your school teacher needs or your uh victorian widow needs yes sound of floor separates are like super super versatile i really like their dresses because i am lazy mm -hmm. uh, and i like to just wear one thing but their separates are very versatile i also think it's funny that this is a stripe shirt and a plaid skirt but they still, still match works. at the very least it doesn't not match yeah so. I'm, it's a vibe. I do prefer it tucked in though. Tucking in I, I is agree. the vibe. It's better so. tucked in. Yeah, I'm just it's I'm lovely. not going to do it because we're going to change. I guess I, we should I should tuck it back in. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, one more. We have one more for you. One more dress. This is the long sleeve Carmen. My orange Carmen is like a three quarter sleeves. And this is probably my most worn dress from Sonda Floor. I I, it is mine too. I am a wedding photographer and so I wear this to shoot weddings in. So I can look like somebody that escaped the Salem witch trials while shooting people's weddings. And it's wonderful. That's always <laughs> what you want to look like. It is. It's giving like, um, hot Protestant. <laughs> hot Protestant summer. <laughs> hot Protestant summer. No, that's not what I want. But I'm talking like Salem witch trials. Yeah. You know. Puritan? Like, Puritan. I think that was more what I was thinking. <laughs> Puritan summer. <laughs> I can't. That was what I was there with pee. Both yeah, religious. it's true. Very it's close. true. I was, I was really well. The Protestants were not like Puritans. No, so. they're different. No. They're different. The sword necklace also really goes with this dress. I Thank like you. It. I think this dress is too big. And you're wearing an extra large. I am wearing an extra large. It is officially too big for me as somebody who is currently like a twelve. I do think that I am gonna try to dry this one. And see if it shrinks down. It's softer and softer. yeah. Oh, it's a little lighter too. It is a little lighter. I was gonna say they look like completely different fabrics. That's so weird. And yours doesn't have a zipper. Oh yeah, mine doesn't have a zipper. And I think it, hers is an early version. I think they've to put on. I just got this probably like six months ago. I so I got mine fairly. I don't know. I'll have to check recently? when I got this. They both do have the ruche back, which is really really nice. You can kind of oh yeah, you can see that, but it's nice. Super cute. Yeah. Wait. Okay. So what size was your pinafore dress? It was a large. That was large. Okay, so this is one full size larger. Yeah, um, but this is the same size as the seesaw dress, which fits me great. The other one has a higher neckline, and because this is actually a much lower neckline, it's like almost falling off my shoulder. Mine is, it fits really well in the bust, but it's a little bit large in the waist. So I do wish that there was a side zipper on this one, because I think that it would have gotten a better fit on the waist. But if you also are more a long straight sizing for waist and bust rather than I usually am one size in the bust and one size in the waist and then another size in the hips. That makes it hard to find clothes that like fit really perfectly. That might be why. Yeah. I guess if you've got wider shoulders, I kind of am on the slightly wider side of shoulders for like my my frame. It might be a little bit tight right here because I can feel it pulling a little bit when I like move my arms back and Ooh, forth. That's a good point actually because Right now it doesn't do it and I'm slim in the shoulders like I have 
short shoulders this way mm -hmm. but i gain weight at the tops of my arms and when i first got this my arm it definitely was so tight so i think getting the true size or size up is important especially if you wear your weight in your arms at all so the carmen might be a little bit if you're on sizing if you get the sizing right it's definitely one of the the comfiest dresses yeah and it's a super wear. great basic like you could wear yeah. this i swear to like literally anything to be burned at the stake that too but i mean like <laughs> i think if you had like an office job like you could wear this oh yeah and no one would think twice about it no definitely not it's oh, cute i also i made a belt recently so i can put that on so i just made this belt it's got bees on it oh it's got some thread on it too Oops. oh my god it's so it's cute bees. and it's reversible i can just do black too but wait i love this so this. much you and your projects it's constant i'm obsessed i know i'm like finally starting to feel kind of out of the sewing burnout. That's good. I'm hoping that I don't put myself right back in it. We do all the projects. <laughs> when we but went thrifting, I found this. We went thrifting together a couple weeks ago. Um, and I haven't worn it yet, but- It looks so much cooler on you than it did just hanging in there. Give yeah, so energy. like when you've got a belt on it and it cinches the waist a little bit, it does, it, it looks gives, It's more giving cinched. kitten flair. Yeah. Yeah. My style is definitely edgier with like the way I wear my hair and my jewelry and stuff. And you have more of this like cottage core aesthetic. Even though like this is dark cottage core, it's giving dark cottage core. But it's cool because I feel like you can really wear it no matter what your aesthetic is. I've used this for my like Ren Fair, casual Ren Fair outfits too. Um, yeah. I have a video of styling that, so I'll link that somewhere. But I use this as the base for like a darker witch and then also for a knight and like a bunch yeah. of stuff. So. Yeah, that's perfect. I love that. But also without the belt, it's just like a really comfy dress to just hang out in. So I usually don't wear it with a belt. Mm -hmm. I don't either. All right, any last thoughts on this dress, on any of the other things? I think that sauna floor is the best, especially if you're thinking about <laughs> like getting out of buying fast fashion and you want something that's gonna last. Yes. Linen has been something that I've been switching over to because sadly I was somebody that shopped a lot of fast fashion. But now that I'm wearing more linen pieces, I'm like this will last me forever. And it's and like better quality, <laughs> it feels nicer, it's not as like scratchy. Yeah. Um, Sonda Floor does not use slave labor, like yeah. Shein and others. <laughs> Sonda Floor has a section on their website where they talk about all of the people in their supply chain from the people who weave the fabric and make their clothing and like every step of the process, they have some kind of documentation on their blog and their website they talk about it and they know everybody involved so they're really really good and transparent about all of that yeah. so sound floor is a really good option if you are looking to get into more sustainable slow fashion yeah. i have gotten a lot of comments that say sound floor is too expensive and everything you do have to think about the fact that they are actually paying their employees a real living wage and then also these are just things that will actually last you rather than kind of the way that fast fashion is really disposable and yeah. you kind of wear it like, twice and it falls apart this will survive doing things all the time running that's, around yeah in the woods i mean that's one of the reasons why i have started wearing this to shoot weddings in because i had a target jumpsuit oh, after yeah. probably like the the 10th wedding i shoot in them it's like i can't ever wear this thing again because the, sh the strap's gonna snap the yeah there's woolly balls all over the legs like it didn't wash well and i just feel like i have probably worn this for almost every wedding i've shot this year and like you wouldn't even be able fine. to tell. Yeah, it's totally fine. That also might be why yours is a slightly lighter color and like softer, because yeah. I don't shoot weddings, yeah. so I don't have to do quite a strenuous yeah. work all the time. I think that's everything about Sonda Floor. I have affiliate link in the description. I don't think it gets you a discount, but they are having their sale, so use my link. Help do the me things. make some money. We love it. Yeah. <laughs> and get some, because they're really fun. And we wouldn't be telling you that if it wasn't actually great. Yeah. We would not be working with them. I don't like to work with brands that I don't like mm -hmm. because I am not good at lying. So yeah. it's, it's <laughs> I true. I do love Sonda Floor. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's certified 100% terrible liar. <laughs> so me on the other hand, pathological. I, I tricked her into not knowing she was having a whole surprise birthday party. So I'm just saying. No, down to the minute. You can also watch that video. It's there. <laughs> it's there. Look it up. <laughs> no, um, for real though. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like that, then uh, also give it a like and let me know in the comments. And if you have brands that you would like to see this kind of video for. I also have some other friends who have expressed interest. One of them is trans mask non-binary. So that's a, a completely different type of a body type with the top surgery and all that kind of stuff so i do want to do this more with 
with even more people and with even more brands. So if you have brands that you want to suggest, let me know and hopefully they will not ghost me. <laughs> and if you want to see more, then subscribe. Yay! If you want to see more Sarah, then put that in the comments. Uh, you're probably going to see more Sarah anyways. So. Sarah's always around. Sarah's the honorary third cat. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> You and Ophelia. Yeah. Maybe that's older sisters. Two, two cats chilling. <laughs> and any given day, it's probably us here. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. That's it. Yay. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.